Hey everyone, this is VTuber Dash Attack, and today we are going to be talking about the Knuckles the Echidna show. Now, you know I've been a big fan of the Sonic uh, movie universe. I've been very supportive of all the films, and I've been having a blast with them so far. And while I don't think Knuckles was as good as the movies, I do welcome its additions to the overall franchise. In this video, I'm going to talk about what I liked and didn't like about the show and the overall reception it's getting. After which, I want to discuss the strange lore references to Sonic 06 and what I think they might mean for the future, or where they can lead. I'll start with the online reception to uh, Knuckles. As you can see from this Metacritic score, it's extremely mixed across the board, but not terrible. I've certainly seen some people who have absolutely hated it and thought the whole thing was uh, false advertising. I'll get into that in a bit. People have contributed this disappointment to uh, different writers, Jeff Fowler only directing one episode, to the fact it's just a side project. I think the aspect of the show people are most divided on is Wade. I'll get it also get into that once they start talking about the negatives. Overall, we can only hope that Knuckles got better streaming ratings than Velma. I'm going to start with what I didn't like about the show, and then get into the positives. Like many, I didn't like the overall focus of Wade and the limited screen time of Knuckles. I think he should have had more screen time than an actual side character. A literal side character got more screen time than Knuckles. I found some of the humor to be even more juvenile than even the movies. Even by Sonic the Hedgehog standards, the story wasn't very serious and it was kind of all over the place. On one hand, you have this criminal and these ex-gun agents who are after Knuckles, and on the other, you have this whole sports side plot that sucks up the entire story. I think the most glaring problems with the show happen more so towards the end, where Wade takes up almost all the screen time, and the final fight between Knuckles and the bad guy is so quick, you it's a blink and you miss it moment. There are also parts that seem like they're too adult for this show. Like, on one hand, you have all this juvenile humor, and then you have overly adult humor. Particularly this moment. Now this is a warrior. Who is this? Uh, this is actually, um, just a cardboard cutout of, uh... Zap from the hit morning show American Gladiators. But what are these little indentations on her shoulders? Uh, nothing. Definitely not where I hugged her too hard. <laughs> You're watching Nickelodeon on Paramount Plus. Makes the decision to tie Nickelodeon ads to this even stranger. Imagine putting something so sexual and tying it with Nickelodeon. Anyway. I also hate how they got the guy who played the Hound to play an original villain, yet they don't utilize him enough. And he goes out like a chump at the end. Oh, spoiler. It's pretty bizarre when the henchmen are the ones that get all the screen time and do the most things, while the main villain is barely in the show. Wade's sister is also absolutely obnoxious and... She's mean to him for absolutely no reason, and is constantly trying to butt heads with him. She even stabs him with a fork. What the hell? Why did she do that? Lastly, I didn't like how they misrepresented Punchinamac in this series. In Sonic Adventure 1, he's a power-hungry warmonger, and responsible for pissing off Chaos. Not to mention the downfall of the Echidna tribe itself. In the movie universe, he's just a goofy ghost voiced by Christopher Lloyd. Overall, I don't blame people for finding this project underwhelming, but I don't think it was all bad. 
The intro animation is fantastic. I love the uh, crayon doodle animation style. I like all the mischief and mayhem Knuckles causes in the first episode and how Maddie snaps at him. We see Knuckles struggling to assimilate to Earth. There's also the family dynamic with the Whipples, and I think that fits very well with the other two movies. Wade and Knuckles form a charming friendship with each other that I hope continues to play out in the uh, future projects. For every unfunny joke, there's at least one good one. And while I wish the Hound was in it more, I actually do like the henchman, especially the female one. She, she has a really funny British accent. The Hound, for what few scenes he's in, is fantastic in every way possible. His origin story tying him to Robotnik is plausible and fits with the movie's canon. And while the show definitely is just filler with no real ties to movie 3, it definitely sets up a lot of juicy lore that could potentially be used in future movies and series. Particularly how this show chose to incorporate Iblis and the Flames of Disaster. Episode 4 of the show, The Flames of Disaster, while not featuring Knuckles that much, was all about Knuckles and um, his past. And it's portrayed in a very bizarre stage play in a dream world called The Battleground in the Sky, basically Wade's Head. From this, we found out after the massacre of the Echidnas, Knuckles sought a fire demon and obtain the Flames of Disaster, which is apparently this cool power he can do with his fists. You get the idea. Anyways, for those of you that know Sonic 06 lore, you know that Iblis was the thing that destroys the world, but used to be a different god entirely when he was split from his brother Mephilus. Together, the two make Solaris the god of Soliana. I believe it's quite possible that this series is laying the groundwork for a possible retelling of 06's story. Heavily revised, of course. Despite being one of the most unpopular games in the franchise, there are people who are fans of its lore. At least parts of it. And Mephilus, of course, still has a ton of fans. They could be setting up Knuckles to be the Iblis trigger. We won't know for a while because it's not relevant to movie 3. But potentially, this is where they can go with it. Anyways, these are my final thoughts on the show. It's filler, and it's alright. It's not great, it's not horrifically awful, it just exists. Take what you can from it, or don't. That's my advice. Thank you all for watching my review and analysis of Knuckles. Please remember to like and subscribe if this is your first time, and I'll see you all next time. Dash Attack out!